Hey everybody, my name is Chris Reed and today I'm bringing you a tutorial series entitled A to Z in Reason Studios. Today we're kicking off this series with the Audiomatic Retro Transformer. This is an effect which can be found in Reason's stock library, which can help to give your sound a little variation or to change your sounds all together. You apply them to your instruments and tweak a few settings and instantly you have a totally different sound. So let's jump into Reason so we can check this out. So here in Reason, I have a couple different instruments which have been given the Audiomatic Retro Transformer effect. We're gonna start off first with the first kind of an effect that you can find on this transformer. Now the first kind of effect that you can find is the tape effect. It's one of those things that as soon as you apply it, you can hear just more warmth, more saturation. Um, you can just really hear that there's some compression going on, kind of like it's being sent through uh, the tape deck. And so we're going to apply this to a drum loop that we have, and we're gonna hear the before and after. Now we're not gonna go through every single effect, but we're just gonna give you a use case for some of the effects that you have. And then what you should to do is then go and just use them tweak them use them in combination with other effects just go wild get creative and then that can be your journey but to start you off I'm going to show you how some of these effects can be used so first of all here is the loop without the effect awesome and we will add the effect on now with full transform. As you can hear, some of those kicks, those snares are coming through a little more crispier. They have a little bit more attack to them. Just more warmth has been given to the loop. So we'll hear it again. It really just adds a little bit more character to that drum loop. Next on the effect patch is the hi-fi knob. And when you look at what the picture that they give you in this effect shows you that the bass knob has been cranked up and the treble knob has been cranked up. So this is if you just need to give the instrument or the sound just a little more, you know, you, you just need a little, thicken it up a little bit, make it sound a little bit more crisp. At the same time, you will use this hi-fi knob. So I've applied it to another drum loop so we're going to hear the drums without it. And now here are the drums with it. As you can hear, without it, the clap and the kick kind of sound thin, but as soon as you add that effect in, all of a sudden the kick is a little a, a lot beefier and the clap comes through a lot more crisp. So the next one that we're going to go through right now is the bright effect. So with the bright effect, it does exactly what it says it does. It brightens up those highs and just makes something that sounds muddy or unclear. You know, it just gives it a little more resonance and a little more clarity. So I have it on a piano uh, right now. We're going to play it without it. and we'll play it with it. So as we go back and forth between it being on bypass and with it being on, you can clearly hear it just brightens that piano up just a little bit more. Uh, the next one that's on this list is the bottom. Now these are these first four are pretty much my go to's whenever I just need to just give like a little more EQ or just a little more sound just to make things not so thin. That's what pretty much these first four are for. And so the last one that I'm going to show you is the bottom and the bottom is for whatever you have that is has a low end. You can put this on 808s. You can put this on bass lines. You can even put this on the piano that we just played in order to give the low end shelf of that piano, you know, those bass notes, you can make, beef them up a little bit more. But let's hear what it sounds like on this bass guitar. Well, without it on the bass guitar.
and we'll hear what it sounds like with it. So it just simply just thickens that bass up a little bit more, gives a little more volume. And it's something that can be achieved with like say an EQ, but this just kind of gives you a little more freedom to just be creative, to throw that effect on there and then just move on to the next thing without getting too specific about frequencies or about, you know, DB volume limits and numbers and all of that science. You could just say, hey, I want this thing to sound beefier. I want the bass line to sound beefier there you have it throw on the audiomatic and all of a sudden you have a beefier bass line so that's kind of like the basis of how i would use um this effect but of course you can combine it in different ways you can actually uh, create an automation within the effects so you don't have to keep it on one effect the whole time you can actually change it from going from one effect to a different effect, even in the song that you have created. So uh, maybe you want it to be beefier in one section, but not so much in another. These knobs can be automated uh, where you can give it more uh, of the effect or less of the effect or even change the effect all together. Uh, the last one that I wanted to show you guys, of course, on the list, there's spread, radio, VHS, vinyl, MP3, uh, psych, Psyche or Psych, uh, something like that, Cracked, Gadget, Circuit, Wash, PVC, and Eerie. And we're going to go through those last eight. Um, we're going to play through on this sound, those last eight, so you can just hear how it really affects the sound in a bizarre way. The first four, I would say, could be used for clarity. It could be used to make a sound you know, sound a little more of something. If it's lacking something, it's going to help it have more. The next four, spread, radio, VHS, and vinyl, truly change the sound in a way uh, to give it a certain flair. So if you want something that would sound uh, very thin, like it's coming out of a radio, then you could use that effect. Uh, VHS has a similar effect, but maybe with a little more grain to it. The vinyl effect, of course, is what's going to give you that beautiful, beautiful cracks and crick and crackles that you hear from playing a vinyl record and you can truly use multiple of these effects and give yourself a piano that sounds you know very old timey or like it's coming from a vinyl player when you add and double up on the effects you just have to be creative and with this it just makes it easy to be creative there's multiple ways that you can create a sound and get the sound that you're looking for but the audiomatic retro transformer just simply makes it like automatic it just simply makes it very easy to get that sound let's um hear this pad as we uh, apply some of the effects to it so this is the spread here's radio vhs kind of sounds kind of you know twangy is that vinyl? And you know, you might not use the vinyl sound on a pad because pads wasn't really anything you would hear from a record player. You would more so use that maybe on like guitars, bass, drums, roads, you know, anything of that nature, but it's there and it sounds great. The MP3 mp3 kind of makes it sounds like it's coming out of headphones so it kind of cuts out some of those frequencies and zones in on on the frequencies that you might hear from a simple mp3 player right now this just completely changes the sound it makes it you know almost psychedelic if you will so that's what the psych sound does cracked distortion But you see, you can get creative with it. You can dial in the effect, make it, maybe bring it back some. It's totally up to you. Circuit is another one of those kind of distorted kind of effects. You can have a lot of it. Wash. Wow. 
This sounds like that scene from Finding Dory or Finding Nemo. And eerie could be used for like soundscapes and like very like uh, wide open sounds that you're trying to create these pad feelings or these atmospheres, right? So there's lots of different ways that you can use the different uh, effects that are, have been uh, given to us here in Reason. I'm going to play out this beat uh, that I created for this video and I'm going to apply and unapply, bypass those effects that I've added in and you can really hear how it changes the sound. So here's what the here's what this beat sounds like with none of the audiomatic uh, effect on. Well, as you can see, there's a lot of ways that you can tweak and really just give variation to the sounds and instruments and reason using the Audiomatic Retro Transformer. I hope that you liked this video, and if you did, please go ahead and give this video a like, share it if you really liked it, and if you just love the idea of having these kind of tutorials, I would really love if you could subscribe to the channel. With that being said, go out there, get creative, and use this Audiomatic Retro Transformer. I'll catch you guys on the next video. Until then, peace.